Good evening, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project bringing you a grand solar minimum update from observing the Frontier Conference on Sunday at 2.52 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. We had a great talk today, and Dr. Lisa Upton ended the afternoon uh, session talking about predicting solar cycle 25. And we have a sneak peek for you. The pre official prediction from Dr. Upton was that solar cycle 25 will see a 25% reduction in strength as compared to solar cycle 24, uh, suggesting that the next uh, cycle will be equivalent to the Dalton minimum, coming directly from the conference. Sneak peek. Quick space weather update. We can see that uh, solar activity on the X-ray flux here is quiescent on the solar minimum sun. And However, we have a pretty interesting geomagnetic storm happening, which is only getting into uh, geomagnetic instability level here at KP4. And right now we're at KP3. But that is not preventing uh, the aurora to extend almost all the way down here into Minnesota. So heads up, all, all of Canada should be getting a show here. This is pretty white, high showing here, and about 70% probability in this line. So we're talking Alberta, British Columbia, and other areas in this uh, getting a show right now, <laughs> live. We got some perturbations here in the electron flux, and we can see the solar wind has been ramping up over the last six hours, peaking higher and higher and higher, and it is actually almost at 600 kilometers per second, which is quite high uh, for recent time because we come down here to the bottom of spaceweather.com, and you can see where we're at right now. There's a very high spike happening here in the daily Soho Solar Wind chart here. So quick heads up there. Let's get done this so I can take a shower and go to sleep. Active storm track makes Montana this winter's epicenter of snow and cold. We've been reporting on this day after day. Record snow in Hover and other areas, including record cold. cold uh, leading links to this article if you want to take a look at it. And we'll just move through real quickly. Extreme weather shelters are open Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights. This is north central California. Snow levels are dropping. Snow predicted in the mountains tonight could be dropping as low as 1,000 feet on Sunday. According to the National Weather Service, the extreme weather shelter in southern Humboldt will be opening. That's a heads up. Good news for those people. Morning snow will lead to, leads to a serious multi-vehicle crash in the Iowa area. Guys, remember just a few uh, weeks ago, I-35 in Ames, Iowa. Huge pileup, 60 to 70 cars. Well... Just happened again, uh, this time near Huxley, Iowa, and another pileup uh, passed on I-35 with over 20 cars. So it's pileup after pileup after pileup after pileup after boom, and that's pileup. Quick to New Jersey weather update. When will the snow stop? How much will we get? Well, they didn't know. Well, it's 6 to 10 right here in the middle of this nugget. That's Allentown, you. Heads up, Billy Joel. 3 to 6, 1 to 3, other areas. So that's a nor'easter. <laughs> Remember that from a kid. Northern Manitoba enters a week long under extreme cold warning. Check this out. We've been reporting on minus 30 degrees for weeks in Manitoba, and they're setting more and more bars. This is a bone chilling temperature of minus 50 range expected in Churchill. Whew. And that's cold. That is Siberia cold. So Manitoba North is expected to experience these bone chilling lows that feel like minus 50 with wind chills near Luis del a real day long weekend. Environment Canada placed the areas of Brochette, Churchill, Dadu Lake, York Factory under holy crap, it's really cold warnings. Minus 57 wind chill and other ridiculous temperatures being reported. <laughs> Wales earthquake, the biggest onshore UK event in over a decade. This is coming in at either 4.4, 4.5, or let's go to the downgrade service <laughs> directly as a 4.2 from the US downgrade service. So is this Wales earthquake unique? No, but it's a sign of the times because if we go back to the historical documentation, I've shared this before several months ago. We did a whole video on it. You could see there's a huge uptick of historical British earthquakes in the five magnitude area starting around 1800, turn of the century, all the way up through the centennial minimum. Over 13 major quakes 
I'll leave you links to this, and since then, just five or six more. So we're going to be going back into the high five magnitude range periodicity with a regularity of about every eight years in this minimum, maybe more. And that's just based on the historical data. Coming over here to zero hedge, sudden stratospheric warming event fractures the polar vortex. You can read about it. This is a different opinion, but it's going to give you exactly the information you need to know about what's happening with the polar vortex. This split of the polar vortex sh sh shift will shift the upper atmospheric pattern such that the coldest air mass is located over western North America, where record uh, temperatures are being recorded in Washington State, as well as over parts of Europe. Heads up, UK. Volcano news, quick update. We're almost done. Hang with me. Volcanoes today are Plentiful, Fuego, Kluchesquiov, Ducono, Samakaya, Ibico, Aoba, and on and on. Are we fluxed? Totally. And that's a cosmic gray. Heads up, boom. I'm exhausted. After extreme weather, lupine can help rebuild gardens. Guys, if you're living in California in a burned out zone, lupine is the helper. Now, this is an amazing plant. You can buy packets of seeds of this on eBay with a wild variety, purple, yellow. There's all different varieties of lupin. Some say lupin. They call it lupin here. I say lupine. I think you're right both ways. But if your land has been charred, saturated, salinified, dehydrated, liquefied, bulldozed, or just generally fluxed, plant the lupine. It's gorgeous. Um, and it's basically a stabilizer. And it's a pollinator, and it's a very beneficial plant. There's even some uh, medicinal uses for lupin or lupine, depending on how you pronounce it. As far as the other seismic uh, activity globally, uh, the only quake of note is a 5.2 here in Indonesia and this 5.3 South Sandwich Islands. So I just met Hemp Lucid's entire crew. There's a whole bunch of peeps out here from this particular CBD life-giving oil company. And if you're a purchaser of CBD, I want you to come over here and check out what they have here because it's not a CBD isolate. I'm sure you're all buying isolates out there. This is the whole plant tincture. This is what I make over at the ranch, man. But my stuff has a lot of THC in it. This is legal worldwide, every state, every country. But it's full plant CBD. And Hemp Lucid's got it nailed down. The terpenes, the flavors, the flavonoids, all the cannabinoids are in there. So go check these guys out. We're going to be getting a discount link. So don't buy anything yet unless you really want to. Go ahead and buy it. But we're going to have a discount link and we're going to be partners with these guys. These guys are badass and they're right on the money with as far as this is the most healthful type of product you can be taking right now as a supplement. <coughs> uh, there's the Hemp Lucid Water Soluble CBD, 500 milligrams. It runs about 50, 60 bucks, but we'll get a quick discount. So just stay tuned if you want to get into purchasing some CBD for your health, for pain, for whatever you need it for. We'll even do an informative video on what the benefits of certain cannabinoids are because it's the future of medicine, guys. I uh, hope you got something out of the video. and That's a boom. I'm going to bed. We're going to have lots of great information. I've been taking notes and, ta and taking pictures, screenshots. Uh, we, have a lot of, we saw a lot of talks today about the health effects of space weather on people. A lot to learn. We're going to be making a lot of videos next week. Share this with like-minded people. Start sharing the love. And I'm feeling the love here at Observing the Frontier, man. Everybody here is here for the purpose of sharing knowledge. This is the most incredible event that any of you can ever get to. Let's make it a, the biggest event ever next year. And let's get some of you people never been out here. This is my first time here. But I can honestly attest to every single person I talk to brings this movement onward and upward and that's a heads up